I thought it was all over at one stage there, John, at 1916. I thought that Peter Gaida was looking confident. He, he looked to be playing well. And somehow this man has done the impossible and come back and sent it to a decider. No, Bunsak's a very dangerous player and uh, he showed there at the end and he's, he's very cool. He didn't look stressed. He's Mr. Iceman as well. I, I thought Peter would, with his experience and his character would win that set, but uh, Bunsak really uh, stepped up to the mark there and played very, very well. I was just very surprised at the first match point, Peter serving high for the first time in the whole match. I was uh, amazed. Yeah. Absolutely Court extraordinary. One, Don't seconds. understand it Court at all. One, <coughs> well, I can see that the umpire, Barreka Andersen, of Sweden has called for the tournament referee because Boonsak Ponsana has changed his shirt and is now also wearing a white shirt and of course BWF Badminton World Federation rules are that opposing players in televised matches in Super Series events must be wearing a different coloured shirt and there is a directive I'm sure given at the managers meeting you were at the managers meeting John, that if a player changes shirts in the middle of the game, then, the game, or in the middle of the match, then he should make sure he's got a second shirt of the same colour when he actually started. But, but of course he, he is wearing black shorts and that does distinguish the two players. That's correct. Both both uh, your opponents are not allowed to wear exactly the same kit. And obviously well, you see here, uh, wearing black shorts to Peter's white and obviously that's, that makes it acceptable. So to the third game, and first point to Moonsack Ponsana. And despite the years and years of experience of Peter Gader, you can't help it as a player, but know that you've had your chances in that second game. And as much as sports psychologists will say, you've got to put that out of your mind, you've got to start again as a player, it's not that simple, is it? No, even the best player in the world will get nervous and stressed and, and have self-doubts throughout, throughout any match. It's just how they cope with it. Now it's a big test for Peter now because he knows he probably should have won that second set. You know, he should be sitting down now, but uh, he's got to show real, real determination to uh, find a way back to this match. Good aggression. I think the fact that the day now has obviously dropped his pace a little, I think he has to have controlled attacking play rather than all out aggression that he showed in the opening game. I don't think physically he can he can go all out attack. No, you're right, Jilly. He's definitely lost a little bit of his speed in his, in his movement and in his, his overhead, so he's really got to be a little bit clever with his attack play with lots of variation, different slices, different pace to cause Boonsack some trouble here. Service over. Four, two. Now he's pushed it wide. And you see, to me, that's the sort of shot that you know, thinking back to when I was a player, you can't help yourself. You're so angry at yourself for losing that second game when potentially being in a winning position that you make a careless error like that and then you start beating up on yourself and saying, you know, oh, come on.
come on, you know, that's that's just ridiculous. And then the more agitated you get with yourself, the more the errors flow. That's right. I'm sure Peter's lost a little bit of confidence after that second set, and he will be a little bit frustrated with himself as well. However experienced he is, it's just natural emotions. Four, five. serve and he was crouching down Five, was Peter Gator looking for the drive return and drove it back even faster and that quick reaction has brought him back level Commanding the rally once Six, again, dictating five. the pace. Yeah, I think when he's when he's able to do that and be, be really positive and control the attack, stay in the attack against Bunsek, he looks very, very dangerous. The key for it now is just can he maintain that level? On the right. Oh, indecision. 